Oscar Piastri has been at the center of attention this summer break, and with how things are unwinding, we're in for a good summer break. What started as a retirement announcement from Sebastian Vettel has turned into an array of events that saw Alpine's reserve driver, F3 and F2 champion Oscar Piastri turning down a guaranteed seat after the team has publicly announced that he'll drive for them in the 2023 season. But why did Piastri do this? Is it a brave or a foolish move from him? Stick around with us to find out more. After Vettel posted a 4-minute video on Instagram saying that he'll leave the sport at the end of the 2022 season, talks have started about his possible replacement. Few of us suspected that Alonso, the two-time world champion, would be his successor. After all, it seemed like he and Alpine are on a good foot and he was expected to drive for the French team until 2024 when Piastri was supposed to replace him. But the team allegedly didn't want to offer him two secure years in the sport, something that Aston Martin was able to, with Alpine wanting to sign Alonso in a 1 plus 1 deal with the second one being a team option. According to Zafnauer, he found out about Alonso signing with Aston Martin from the media, which goes to show that the Spaniard wasn't really interested in negotiating a deal with Alpine. The team thought that they could announce Piastri without him being alerted about this, and when the announcement was made, it was a late night in Australia, so Piastri reacted a bit later when the announcement was made. He went public on Twitter to say that he wouldn't drive for Alpine and the announcement they made is not true, so he hasn't signed a deal with the team for 2023 and onwards. Why did this happen? First of all, Alpine missed their deadline to announce Piastri as their driver for the 2023 season. This deadline was until the 31st of July, and in the case that the team didn't announce Piastri until then, they were released to look for another team. When we say they, we mean Piastri and his manager, Mark Webber, who was also a former F1 driver. Piastri and Alpine thought that Alonso would continue his deal, so Piastri was kind of forced to look for another team. Two teams emerged like favorites to sign Piastri. The first one is Williams, but it's unlikely that Piastri and his manager Weber would turn down Alpine for Williams, which is nowhere near as attractive as Alpine. The second one is McLaren, and this is where things get interesting. Piastri felt like he was neglected by the team, and he felt like he deserves a place somewhere else. This is why you can assume that his actions weren't made in anger or in revenge mode towards the team for not securing him a 2022 spot in the first place. Quite the contrary, his actions were carefully planned and are now seeking an execution plan. But nothing is official yet, although rumors have started that Piastri's contract with McLaren is sent to the FIA for the confirmation process and the team has alerted Ricardo to look for another team, nothing has been confirmed as of now. The fact that the team is willing to buy out Ricardo's lucrative contract and let him go to replace him with Piastri shows how desperate the team is to win more points in the upcoming seasons. Ricardo has performed really bad and this opportunity was seen by Piastri and Weber, which is why they might have worked out a deal with the British team. But Piastri's deal with Alpine is more complicated than you would think so. He could enter legal action with the team, since he is still under contract with them, and the team believes that they still hold a right to his services. What would be a huge blow for the team is if he leaves the competition team and invests the simulation time and all the investments Albin made in him. But the French team should have known better and worked out their stuff on time, as we're sure that this wouldn't have happened in the first place. All of this drama could be squished if Piastri hasn't really signed a deal with another team, which according to his statement and his denial of a secured spot is hard to believe. This would see him accepting the place in Alpine, the one that he initially declined, and it would be a really, really awkward situation for the team to be in. It's possible that Piastri saw how the team is treating him and how they treated Alonso when he was much faster than Ocon, which is why he didn't see a future with the team. With that being said, Piastri and his manager Weber know what they're doing, and as we wait to see what the future holds for us, Piastri has brought up one of the most interesting summer breaks in Formula 1.